Hello again. I totally forgot. This is the second part to this. So this is the second study guide intervention video. Uh, so this is all about arc length, which is quite important. Arc length is the part of a circle and its length is a part of the circumference. So basically, I want to show you how you can calculate arc length uh, if you have enough information. And if you look at these examples here, it actually walks you through it. But we're going to do some exercises together and that should, um, that should help clarify it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start down here. So, let's start with the example. So in the diameter of circle O, which is right here, find the length of each arc for the given angle measure, round to the nearest tenth. So, okay, they tell us that find arc DE, the length of DE, if the measure of angle DOE is 120 degrees. So, if this is 120 degrees, right, that means the arc, the corresponding arc angle is also 120 degrees. So let's go ahead and arc angle, arc measure. So the arc is 120 degrees. So DE, the arc is 120 degrees. All right. Now we know that the diameter is 24 inches long. So let's go ahead and find the circumference. We're going to need the circumference to do this. So circumference is 2 pi r. We know the diameter is 24, so that's 2r. So we can actually plug it into the 2 and r. So circumference is actually going to be 24 pi. Okay. Now, 120 degrees, we're going to set this up as a ratio. Okay. So what we do is we take the arc over 360. Okay. And we're going to set that equal to um, the arc length over uh, the entire circumference. Okay, so it's, it's a proportion. It's exactly what it is. So we're, we know that the relationship between the arc and 360 degrees would be the same as the arc length over the entire circumference because the circumference is the entire length around. So let's go ahead and plug these in. So we know the arc is 120 degrees. We know that 360 is 360. The arc length we don't know. We're going to call that L. And we know that the circumference is 24 pi. So here we go. Let's figure this out. So we can actually simplify this. This is one third. So one third equals L over 24 pi. We're going to cross multiply here. Okay. So we're going to have 24 pi is equal to 3L. We're then going to divide by 3, which is our coefficient. And the arc length should equal 8 pi. Now, do we have units of measurement here? We don't. We just have units. So. So that would be the answer for number one, 8 pi units. I'll put that right here. Let's try another one. Let's try number two. So DEA, if DOE is 120. So DEA would be this entire length here. So we know this is 120. Okay. So 120 plus 90 would be 100. 100, uh, sorry, not 20, let's write this down, 20, 210, I don't know why I couldn't think of that. So the arc is going to be 210 degrees, right? Let's go ahead and use a different color, actually. So DA is 120 degrees. Let me go ahead and write this down here. DEA, yeah, is 210 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and use the same proportion. So I'm going to write that down again. Arc over 360 equals arc length <clears throat> over circumference. And we're using the original value. We're going to be using that 24 diameter the entire time. So we know the circumference is going to be 24 pi the entire time. So let's plug these in. So the arc is 210 over 360 equals arc length, which we're not aware of, and 24 pi. Okay, can we simplify that? Yes. We can both divide by 10, get rid of the zeros, then divide them both by 3. We're going to get 7 over 12. So 7 over 12. Or you could just cross multiply as is and have gigantic numbers. You could do that too, but I don't like using gigantic numbers if I can avoid it. We're then going to cross multiply here. So we're going to say 12 times L is 12L. And 7 times 24, let's do that out. 7 times 24. Uh, 28, carry the 2, 14, 668, okay. And 
that should be pi. And now we're going to uh, divide both sides by our coefficient, which is 12. Okay. This is round to the nearest tenth. We're going to leave that in terms of pi. Now this one we're probably going to leave in terms of pi as well. So 168 divided by 12, 14. All right. So this is going to be arc length is going to be 14 pi units. So hopefully that clarifies how to do those. I don't want to do these other two. I want you to do those on your own. Let's try those out. Let's try a few more down here. So we have the diameter of P is 15 units long, and SPT is congruent to RPT. Okay, so that means these two angles are congruent to one another. All right. Find the length of each arc for the given angle measures, round to the nearest tenth. All right, let me go ahead and put this over here. So we'll do five and six. So arc, we're going to find the measure of arc RT if the measure of SPT is 70. So if this is 70, we know that RPT is the same. Let's just plug that in there, why not? RT would be this one here. So we know that's going to be 70 degrees. Okay. So this is number five. So 70 degrees over 360 is going to be equal to the arc length over the circumference, which we don't know yet. We have to figure that out. So diameter is 15. So C equals 2 pi R, or you could also call it D pi. D is 15. So we're going to call the C equals 15 pi. That's the circumference. It's going down here. Uh, can we simplify this? They're both divisible by. Mm, yeah. They're both divisible by 10, so we're gonna make that 7 over 36, and then we're gonna cross multiply. So we're gonna get 36 times L is 36L, and 7 times 15. So 7 times 15 is gonna be 105. Oh, 105. And now we're going to divide by 30, and that should be 105 pi. We're going to divide both sides by 36. Cross that out. Now this is going to be a decimal. So 105 divided by 36 equals this mess. So it's the nearest tenth. So we're going to keep that at 9 because that number is a 1. It's not 5 or higher. So 2 and 9 tenths rounded. Now, if you're going to be as, as accurate as possible, you'd actually leave it as a, you could simplify this fraction here, which I would actually recommend, but it's, it's saying the nearest tenth, so, okay, that works, I guess. Uh, yeah, and that's about it. So that's how you do number five, so that would be two and nine tenths pi. Okay, I don't want to do these others, I actually want to leave some of these for you guys to do. So try these out, if you have any more questions, let me know during class, and uh, we'll get to it. Thanks, guys.